expose yourself as you are without trying to be someone else. We don't know what will happen if you fail to express yourself fully. You may regret it later. Thank you very much. <laughs> Look at those red dots. Those red dots are a sign of the Antichrist. The Antichrist! The Antichrist! <laughs> Be quiet! Good God, son! <laughs> How long I'm will it take? I'm getting out of here! I'm getting out of here! Of Jesus Christ! I'm going to read Walt Whitman for you. Is it wonderful that I should be immortal? As everyone is immortal. I know it is wonderful. But my eyesight is equally wonderful. And how I was conceived in my mother's womb is equally wonderful. And how I was not palpable once, but am now. And was born on the last day of May, 1819 and passed from a babe in the creeping trance of three summers and three winters to articulate and walk are all equally wonderful. And that I grew six feet high, and that I have become a man, 36 years old, in 1855, and that I am here anyhow, are all and that my soul embraces you this hour. And we affect each other without ever seeing each other. And never perhaps to see each other is every bit as wonderful. And that I can think such thoughts as these is just as wonderful. And that I can remind you and then you think them and know them to be true is equally wonderful. And that the moon spins round the earth and on with the earth is equally wonderful. And that they balance themselves with the sun and stars is equally wonderful. Come, I should like to hear you tell me what there is in yourself that is not just as wonderful. And I should like to hear the name of anything between Sunday morning and Saturday night that is not just as Kill it! <laughs> Where did I top? Where did I top out? Come on, tell me. Dang it! Do it again! Do it again! I have a Walt Whitman button tapped into my love. It's unique. You can't get it anywhere else. Great is goodness. I do not know what it is any more than I know what health is, but I know it is great. Great is wickedness. I find I often admire it just as much as I admire goodness. Do you call that a paradox? It certainly is a paradox. The eternal equilibrium of things is great. And the eternal overthrow of things is great. And there is another paradox. Great is life, and real and mystical, wherever and whoever. Great is death. Sure as life holds all parts together, death holds all parts together. Sure as the stars return again, after they merge in the light, death is great as life. That's the end of the book. When I finished reading this book for the first time, it was about 2 a.m. and I had to go outside because I felt that I needed to be out, out of doors. I went out into the street and then found once I was out there that I didn't really know what to do out there. I think I kind of just stayed in the street for a little and looked up at the sky. And then it was there were there was snow out out of doors, so I walked in the snow using some boots that helped me 
so that the snow didn't get in my shoes.